So this morning I came in with a really clear idea about what I wanted to do. However, the calendar today is actually quite difficult. So let's wind back to the start of the day and I'll take you through everything. Okay, so the idea this morning is pretty simple. These are the cash profiles. I basically last week created this Bikini Weekly and it closed strong on NFP. Now, this day here, Friday, was an outside day and then an inside day yesterday. And yesterday came back and it held this dashed orange line here, which is the weekly value area high. So, so long as that holds today and we start auctioning it out here, then I think that this market should break the high. In addition to that, we've got one, two, three, four highs kind of in the same resistance band. So I think that's got, you know, lots of scope to go. Okay, so the technical idea is relatively simple to understand. However, all the events in the day really made this complicated. So I'm gonna show you my notes from the weekend and from this morning, and that'll explain what made this difficult. Okay, meet my notes from this morning. Now, maybe it's easy to see in the weekend prep, and I noted in the weekend all of the supply coming out today and also the German ZEW numbers coming out. Now, if you go back to what I wrote this morning, you can see here that there, you know, is a lot coming out, a lot of auctions, sort of my expectations around it. And so this really just muddies it because we're looking for a bid, but we're also seeing lots of supply into the market. Hey, so let's quickly touch base um, on what we talked about this morning. It's nine o'clock here in the office and um, Bin started off with a kind of bullish looking profile, um, but there was just no drive. And so now there's markets um, offered back down and that was sort of in the pricing time period of the, span uh, sorry, the Dutch auction. Um, and so it seems like this market does have to sit around and let this sort of like the options play out before it goes. Um, we'll do a review of all of this later on in the day. Let's look at how this played out. So the market bid immediately at seven o'clock and then sort of remained up here but wasn't able to, you know, really extend higher. It then sold off and this was into the Dutch auction, which was at nine o'clock. And this, if you look here, actually came down into this zone, like right sort of down into the VPOC of yesterday. Now this is kind of ideal because the auctions bring, bring in more selling and it's kind of like mechanical force for hedging, then sometimes it breaks that level and that POC was the ideal support level to be buying it. So that was the ideal time to get long. But what made this really tricky is we still had German auctions, an Austrian auction, uh, we also had UK auction including a 50 year um, still to come and then the German ZDW. So, Buying here, you know, I didn't think, right, if I bought, like, I love the location, but think, trying to think about, okay, you know, can I hold this all day? You know, can I hold size into ZDW? And I decided not. This was ZDW here. It hardly moved the market, um, even though the con current conditions were quite a big uh, beat. Then, yeah, the main move really came actually after the auction. So we had this kind of wedge forming. And then there was this news uh, that came out saying, well, I suppose it implied a potential hack with lots of websites down, major news websites. And so that bid the market, and you can see here that that bid took it out of this inside day structure that we've got. And that, yeah, was entry. Then when the market came back, there was really good absorption down here and then the market went back. And so, yeah, all in all, it was really tricky. I wasn't expecting this. I think the big learning from today is that if the market presents you with a good technical place to buy, then I think you take it. You may have to then take some size out soon. Um, afterwards due to just the nature of having lots of events but I think you need to be in and even if it just means you run a small amount just to reduce the risk of the events so be it.